There's five things in sports that I just don't get. That if you were dropped on this planet out of a spaceship and introduced to sports, here's the five things that make no sense. Number one, the NFL preseason. For the record, we're just eight days away from Notre Dame facing Michigan. 19-year-olds, no preseason, no joint practice, massive practice limitations, multiple teenagers, and they'll do just fine. What is the point of the preseason? Last night, Cleveland, Philly, three guys got hurt. San Francisco, five guys got hurt. Minnesota had six guys get hurt. What are we doing here? They're called joint practices. You have grown men, veterans, 28. College football doesn't have it with teenagers. And when Auburn plays Washington in eight days and Notre Dame plays Michigan in eight or nine days, and those games mean more because if you go 0-1 in college football, it can ruin your season. It can upend your season. What are we doing with preseason? What are we doing? Finally, guys in this league, Breeze, Ben, Rogers, Goff, get them out of there. No reason to play. Here's number two. Major League Baseball. 162 games, an utter marathon, and then the playoffs start with a one-game playoff. <laughs> what? So the whole thing about baseball is a marathon, and then when the game really counts, it's a 40-yard dash. So I prove all year I'm superior to you, and then because, you know, pitching matchups, I have to win a game late in the season to get in. I have to use a number two or a three starter. You get your ace, and you beat me even though, what? Major League Baseball, first of all, your season's too long. It should be 120 games max. But secondly, how do you have 162 games, many that don't matter, and when they finally do, it's a one-game playoff? I would be much more comfortable with a one-game basketball playoff. We do that in college. I would be okay with one-game football playoffs. But in baseball, baseball's not a one-game sport. One game doesn't mean anything. You've had... Literally, they used to send a Major League Baseball all-star team overseas to play in tournaments, and they would lose to a Japanese all-star team. And and they're not as good as our all-star team, but in a game, one air, a pitching matchup, doesn't work for you. That doesn't make any sense. Number three that doesn't make any sense in sports to me is the imbalance in college football schedule. It's absurd. In college football, in the SEC, Alabama has to only play eight conference games, meaning they get to play another cupcake. But in the Big Ten or the Pac-12, you have to play nine conference games. You, you may say to yourself, well, it's just one more game. You don't think it's an advantage not having to play Georgia one year, whereas Michigan has to play Wisconsin? You, don't, you, do, you do realize in the Big Ten there's like seven legitimate teams now at the top? You don't think it would be an advantage not having to play Ohio State, not having to play Michigan State on the road in East Lansing, not having to play Michigan, not having to go play Penn State on the road Saturday night? You don't think that would be an advantage? You don't think it would be a disadvantage if, oh, Nick, you just had to go to row on LSU? Oh, next week you got to you got to go to the road on Georgia. Oh, but no, you don't have to in certain conferences because you get a bye week or play Panera Bread. Come on, college football. Eight or nine games for everybody in the Power Fives. Here's another thing in sports I don't get. How about this one? Fighting in hockey. Literally, you're dropped from a spaceship to the planet, and you watch a sport. Can you imagine in any other sport? Hey, they dropped their gloves. There's a fist fight. And the officials are like, yeah, you guys go at it. Go ahead, LeBron, Kevin Durant. Keep throwing haymakers. Go ahead, J.J. Watt, Joe Thomas. You guys keep throwing haymakers. We'll just sit back here and watch it. (laughs) What are you doing? I mean, it's absurd. I know non-hockey guy loves the toughness of it. Listen, hockey is tough without fighting. Ever been checked into the boards? You ever played one of those shifts against the top physical defenseman? Hockey's tough without fistfights. And what's number five? Major League Baseball allows you to throw a small orb at a man's head for a variety of reasons. Uh. He hit a home run off me. I'm going to throw a ball at his eye. He jogged too slowly around the bases after jacking a ball off my crappy slider. 
I get a throw at him. What? Automatic ejection. If you make the major leagues, how about this? And a guy hits a home run off you. If you at any point in that season hit him, it's an ejection automatically. You're a major league pitcher. You're a major league pitcher. If Tom Brady, with people chasing him, can throw only five interceptions in a year, then a major league pitcher can avoid throwing at somebody's temple. These are the five things I do not get in American sports. The NFL preseason, one-game baseball playoff, imbalanced college football schedules, fighting in hockey, and allowing people to throw at other people because, you know, I didn't like the pace he ran around the bases. (sighs) Doesn't make any sense. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.